All my Vietnam veterans, welcome home. Germany, good night. All my active duty military personnel that's downrange, good night. It is now time for Big Sarge's Article 15 of the day. Lynn Redding, the superintendent of Onalaski School District, about 100 miles north of Houston, come get this work, sir. We discussed you a little bit earlier, but now it's time for me to go ahead and dig into it because like I said, I was down at the Texas facility today and everyone that was asked that question from the head coach Bill O'Brien, from uh, former All-Pro J.J. Uh, Watt, from Deshaun Watson himself, dismissed it and said, you know what, we don't have time for that. It's ignorant, it's idiotic, it's racist. We're not gonna put any, any, any power into that, but Big Sarge will, because Big Sarge gonna call it out, sir, how do you have the nerve to say this? Uh, you said, hold on one second. God dang it, Brian, what happened? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm having some technical difficulties over here. Where is it on Sunday? Oh, here it is. Reading commented on the Chronicle.com story saying that when you need precision decision making, you can't count on a black quarterback. When you need precision, decision-making, you can't count on a black quarterback. He believed he was responding to a private message and deleted the comment when he realized it was a public post. Like I said earlier, this is how you talk to your friends, right? This is th these are the conversations that you have with your friends, right? And side note, how are you posting on the Chronicle site thinking that you're texting your friend. How? Are you serious right now? And then what do you come out and say? You apologize. I'm sorry. You are a superintendent of, of a school. You are over kids. But here's the problem that you all are, are missing. Here's the thing that you're missing about Mr. Redden. He ain't over African-American kids. There's only like nine kids, nine African-American kids, I think, like in the high school or something. It's like nine, average, like the school, it's like 88% uh, Anglo-American. So, of course, he's going to make these type of comments. Why? He didn't think it was going to be any repercussions. And that's how he talks to the people out, out where he lives. And then he wants to come back and he wants to uh, apologize. I did not think that it was so, I did not think that I was uh, putting it out there like that. I'm sorry. I apologize. Isn't it ironic that every time they get busted, they're sorry? Sierra Mizell, she came out and said she was sorry. Y'all know who that is? The lady from Oregon who was talking to the Asian American lady calling, saying that her parents probably uh, work, uh, work like dirt in order to get her over here and the reason why she can't drive is because she's Asian and her eyes are slanted and she can't see. That's why she drives so bad. But then when she goes viral, now what happens? Oh, her mom comes out and says, but she's part Native American. She can't be racist. She, I've learned the errors of my ways. I'm so sorry for saying that I'm racist. No, you're sorry that you got busted. That's what you're sorry about. You're sorry that you got busted. Uh, who remembers the man at the pool in North Carolina, Mr. Adam Bloom, who said that, that he'll call the police on the, on the lady who was entitled to be, who, was supposed, who could be at the pool, but he called the police saying that she shouldn't be at the pool and she had to show identification and saying that she lived there. And then he got fired and then what he come out and say, I'm so sorry, I am not a racist. I'm sorry. I didn't supposed to. I, I I didn't mean that. I was just going through some things. I'm sorry that I said that. No, you're sorry you got busted. What about y'all remember the man, I think it was in Ohio, who followed the black man home and called him all kind of N-words in his driveway? Mr. Jeff, Jeffrey Whitman? Y'all remember him? And then when they called the Better Business Bureau on him and when he lost his license and lost his job, what was the first thing he says? I'm sorry. I did not mean to make those statements. And once again, say it with me, you all. 
I am not sorry that I said it. I'm sorry I got busted. Last but not least, because these stories can go on and on and on and on. Who remembers Allison Edel? Permit Patty. Y'all know her now, right? Her real name is Allison Ed Edel, but you know, we call her Permit Patty. You know, the woman who called the police on a little girl who was selling water outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That same woman who was selling, uh, like, uh, doggy, doggy and cat and animal marijuana without a permit. That woman. And then she lost, like, her, she lost a spot in a documentary and she started losing money. And then what did she come out and say? I didn't really mean... I didn't really mean that. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to, uh, to put this little girl through so much. I'm so sorry what I did to the family. You're sorry you got busted. So, Mr. Uh, Reading, I hope that you're listening. And if not, I hope somebody who knows you is listening and can pass this on to you. You're not sorry for what you said. You're sorry you got busted. You're sorry that you went viral. What has Deshaun Watson ever done to you? If, let me tell you something about the Watson family. Because I spoke with them personally the day Deshaun Watson got here. You know his story. You know he came from nothing. You know what his uncle told me standing right? He told me this in a Texan store. He says, sir, do you realize we were broke until Deshaun was name was called last night? Do you realize that I pawned my motorcycle in order for us to be able to travel with him to support him? We came from nothing. Nothing. We didn't have anything until he his name got called on last night. And for you to have this high profile position where you're in charge of not only kids, but other adults to come out and say what you said? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do it? What did Deshaun Watson ever do to you? He doesn't even know who you are. And for you to say these type of things and trying to keep your job, no, you should be fired, sir. You should be gone. I would not want you around my child. No way, no how. You're sorry? Well, guess what? Take a couple of years off. Get your mind right. And maybe we'll give you a second chance. But until then, stop saying you're sorry for what you said. No, you're sorry that you got busted. Sports Talk with Big Sarge right here on the legendary k Wild Candy All New 92.3 FM. We will be back tomorrow for PT Prediction Thursday. If don't nobody else tell you today, I love you. I'm out.